In this video, we're going to cover how to take an x-ray with the Dentamax imaging software. In order to do so, we must first select the patient for whom we want to take an x-ray. In this case, we'll use John Doe. With our patient selected, we then click on the Take X-ray button in the left-hand column. For taking a single X-ray, all we have to do is select the tooth for which we want to take an X-ray. If I want to take an X-ray of number three, I can just click on number three. If I want to take a whole bite wing, I can click and hold down my mouse click and then drag to select multiple teeth. Once I have the teeth selected, I can let go and it will take me to the next screen and automatically get the sensor ready. At this point, we need to position the sensor in the patient's mouth and then expose the sensor and our x-ray will return to the computer. Now we will cover how to take x-rays in a layout or progression format. The initial process is the same where we select our patient and click the take x-ray button. Once we've done this, we will now select Take an Automated X-ray Series in the top left-hand column. Once we have selected this, it will bring up all the available layouts. One important thing to note here is all these layouts are fully customizable as well as new ones can be created. If you need help with doing this, you can contact the Denimax Imaging Support Department. Once we found the layout we want, we click on that layout and it will bring it up for us. You'll notice we have a large number in the background. That is the order in which the x-rays are taken. And then the smaller number are the teeth associated with that x-ray. Once we are ready to start, we click the start button down in the bottom left hand corner. Sensor ready. We'll hear the audible sensor ready. And now we are ready to position the sensor in the patient's mouth and take the x-ray. Once we've taken the first x-ray, it'll automatically return to the system and the software will move on to the next tile and get ready again. And then we just repeat that process until we've taken all the x-rays in the layout. Once we are done taking the layout, if we need to retake any tiles, we can do so by clicking on that tile with our mouse and then clicking the Take Retake button in the bottom left-hand corner. This little window will pop up. All we have to do is hit OK. It'll get our sensor ready again. And now we're ready to retake this second tile. Once we have retaken the second tile, our new x-ray will appear on top of our old x-ray. You will now notice we have a little stack of papers here in the bottom right-hand corner of that tile. That tells us that there are multiple x-rays in that tile. To view the x-rays, we just double click on that stack of paper and it will bring the two x-rays up side by side. We select whichever x-ray we want to be the x-ray on top and then we hit OK. Once we are done taking the x-rays, we now want to click our finish button down here in the bottom right hand corner. This will go through and finish saving the x-rays to the patient we have selected as well as to make them viewable on other computers in the office. At this point, we are now done with taking our x-rays. One important thing is if you're ever taking x-rays in the Denimax imaging software and you notice that they're all coming out too light or too dark or too blurry or too grainy or anything like that, feel free to contact the Denimax imaging support department and they can help you take a look at what might be causing that problem. Thank you for watching this Denimax Digital Imaging Tip. For more tips or information on our products, please visit Denimax.com.